Hello, and welcome back to Who's Who at Wendell Lark. I'm your host, Omar Brown, and my guest today is Katie Lefevre. Katie is the librarian for Northwood Elementary School in West Seneca. Hello, Katie. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks. Hi, Omar. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do at West Seneca Elementary School? Yeah, at Northwood Elementary School, um, I have pre-K through fifth grade students. Um, I see them every week as part of the specials rotation. Uh, it's really important to me to help them develop a love of reading, a love of learning, to do a lot of hands-on things in the library, um, and to develop some critical thinking and lifelong learning skills along the way. Um, we share stories together. We are a little bit messy and not very quiet, which is you know not what people perceive school libraries to be like. Um, and I'm just really passionate about connecting kids with their interests and their questions and their curiosity and sparking that mm. wonder with them. Excellent. Are you part of any kind of organizations that's, that's also too that continues the education for some of these students? Um, yeah, I am a part of the Winnie Lurk. It's the new committee, the Leadership, Education, Advancement, and Partnerships Committee. Um, I'm also a past president of the School Librarians Association of Western New York, where we do a lot of activities where we work with other schools, we share lesson ideas and best practices, and right. joining professional organizations has been a lifeline for me in my career. I'm going right. into my seventh year of being a librarian, um, and being part of these professional networks has really helped me enjoy my practice to make these connections and to be ultimately a better librarian for my students. Okay. Um, you said there's a new program that started with Wendy Lurk that you had just joined. Can you elaborate more on that, please? Well, I'm really passionate about advocacy in our community as well, because um, so many people don't really know what librarians do, or they have a really outdated model in their heads about what any, any type of librarian is like. Right, right. Um, and while some of those stereotypes might be true, the majority of them are not. And librarians have so much to offer and we're constantly having to defend our positions and to look for funding sources and to sort of explain what our role is and how many amazing things we have to offer to our communities, no matter what, if that's a school community, a public community, at a university, um, so many librarians doing cool things and wonderful assets to their community. Um, so joining a an organization, um, both through Slani, the School Librarians Association of Western New York, and through Winnie Lurk, where I can help advocate for libraries, um, right. is really kind of, it's part of the job, to be honest with you. Oh, great, great. That's very powerful. Thank you. You mentioned that you say you have a passion for advocacy. So what drew you to become a librarian? Um, well, when my, you know, I kind of always had in the back of my mind that maybe someday I would want to get into teaching and I wasn't really sure what exactly um, my undergraduate degree was in political science and legal studies and I had spent some time working with insurance companies and as a right. paralegal. Um, and I really just wasn't fulfilled in that. And when my children were young, I was kind of home with them a lot and I spent a lot of time going to the library. And like a lot of people, um, I didn't quite realize what the librarian did. And I sort of looked and thought, oh, well, you know, you probably can't make much of a living at this. And they probably don't hire a lot of people. Right. And so I kind of had gotten into, I was thinking about maybe taking some online education classes just to get into the field and start. Right. And I noticed that UB had a program for school librarians and it was like yes. fireworks went off. And I was like, wait, that's a job. I can be a teacher in a school and a librarian and I can make a living at this. I am convinced I have the best job in education. Um, I've never regretted my decision to become right. a librarian. Um, and I just, as I got into my studies and as I got into my career, I just realized that as somebody who loves lifelong learning and history and reading, it was the perfect fit for me. Well, let's come to our final question here. Can you tell us something that your colleagues would be uh, shocked to know about you? Um, I'm a big advocate for rest and relaxation and right. restorative practices, like just um, you know, our jobs are so busy and we're on all the time and we make so many decisions a day about what to do and we enter, I'm an introvert. There's not a right. lot of introverts in education. There are probably more introverts librarians in education than in generation right. than yeah. in education in general. Um, but at the end of the day, like taking that time to yourself and really that, that rest, like just kind of stepping out of our go, 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 go culture and taking time for yourself and not feeling guilty about it because you're just, you know, it's so restorative and so, um, it just, yeah, being able to, to take the time for rest and to really, to not feel guilty about it. That's my, okay, that, I, tell, that I like excellent. to tell that. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that is very powerful. And uh, maybe they probably should be like 
uh, webinars or probably classes of librarians in particular understanding the need for rest and maybe mm -hmm. you can probably give a, a seminar about that yeah, maybe <laughs> everybody bring a pillow <laughs> <laughs> okay great great well this concludes our interview and i want to thank katie lefevre for joining us today thanks omar it was so nice chatting with you thank you thank you thank you well i'm your host omar brown and thank you for joining us today bye bye Members of WinnieLurk are able to utilize a number of programs and services, including archival and digital services, Ask Us 24-7 Chat Reference, Ask the Lawyer, Empire Library Delivery, Hospital Library Services, InfoPass, and Professional Development. Please visit www.wnylrc.org to learn more.